easy recovery of Captain Victor Aguirre will inspire you. He was one of nearly a dozen firefighters injured last summer when it's believed hazardous materials stored inside a downtown building exploded. Investigative reporter Lolita Lopez gathered new information on the hidden hazards uncovered and what's being done to keep you safe. We got burned on the roof, trying to get off onto the ladder. And I got burnt on the ladder. Los Angeles Fire Captain Victor Aguirre. And then the flames started slowing down, and then the truck caught on fire, and I had to go through the flames one more time. Survived the intense flames while escaping this burning building in downtown Los Angeles last summer. Going down the ladder took every ounce, every ounce of energy to take the steps. He was one of nearly a dozen firefighters injured, the captain suffering the most severe burns, spending more than two months in the hospital. Aguirre was the last to go home a year ago this week. I thought I was dying. And, you know, I had that whole near-death experience where I seen my, the image of my wife, my son, my daughter. Unknown to firefighters at the time, hazardous materials stored inside the building illegally, according to the L.A. City Attorney. We got lucky that day that we didn't lose 11 firefighters. The Federal Department of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives tells the I-Team it ruled the fire on Boyd Street accidental. We're going to see more of those chemicals and and the hazard behind that. A fire department report shows the building, which housed a vaping and marijuana shop, did not have a sprinkler system and was loaded from floor to ceiling with butane cartridges and nitrous oxide chargers. In the immediate aftermath, the department ordered all stations to inspect businesses and review how hazardous substances are stored and tracked. The department inspected more than 330 businesses suspected of storing large amounts of dangerous and flammable materials. Of those, 17 were added to a hazardous materials management program for tracking. 21 businesses visited were put on a fire watch list, meaning they need to reduce their hazardous material inventory. And 12 were referred to the L.A. City Attorney's Office for possible legal action. We need to kind of put our arms around it and, and, uh, and start learning a little bit more how we could approach those. The department tells the I team it will continue to conduct spot inspections and look for hazardous materials violations. I'm trying to come up with a system or something that could have us better prepared for that silent killer. While he can't fight fires anymore, Aguirre says his purpose is clear. It was a bad day, uh, some bad things happened, but uh, we're gonna make good things out of it. For the IT, Lolita Lopez, NBC4 News.